guys, what's up? D-Live here, and I am here with some more wardrobe. There's a few things that I forgot to do in this house that you guys pointed out in the comments section. There are two things that I need to do. We have to get this empty glass or cup and get some beer, which is kind of, I should have gotten that. I don't know what I do with that, but that is something that we miss. And also, no, wait, wait, actually it's not up there. It is down here, in here. There's a, in that closet where the weird fucking spooky shit is, there is um, a flag that I can move and grab something underneath. Okay. Absolutely not. Among us nerds, there's a code of honor. Maybe not. Oh, there we go, ragdoll. One of those old ragdolls people played with once upon a time. Ah. My grandma would have crawled through glass to have one of these when she was young. Okay. Jesus. Can we grab it? We did. Nice. So we have a doll now, a rag doll. We have hair too. Wait, what? Incomplete voodoo doll. If only I could attach the hair to the rag doll. What the fuck? We have a voodoo doll now. We have a Thai absinthe. So I don't know here what we have, what I can actually do with. There's a map. We can actually click to go to places. We haven't been here, and we haven't been here. So we have to go to these new spots. I'm assuming that more areas are going to pop up around here. Well, let's go here. Hey, two. Do you know what's round, soft, and juicy? A tomato? No, stupid. A nice child. <laughs> How many times have I got to tell you? I'm done eating children. I'm a fruitarian now. Oh, and a fruitarian. what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I only feed on fruit. And just the ones that fall from trees to the ground. Okay. You won't last more than a week. You'll see. You're really the black sheep of our family. <laughs> so these guys are trolls and they like to eat little children. Flowey has made it into this game. Let's go talk to Flowey. So many possible spoilers, I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> I don't want any LV from you. I'm an acid guy. <laughs> In inebriate yourself with love. Ah, love captured forever in undying memory. Okay. At least until they cut down the tree. Exactly. All right, so we can talk to the- Oh, no, they're ogres. They're ogres. They undoubtedly get along very well. Yeah, I get your life choice perfectly. <laughs> really? I eat only children too. Just the ones that fall into my mouth. <laughs> can I it's talk best to them? not to get involved in certain private business. Alright, so maybe they need something. I don't know. There's an alien over here. That's now like I understand what the media meant when they predicted an alleged alien invasion back in the eighties. <laughs> that's um God, I forgot the name of that game. It's an eighties game. That I would that's have exterminated from. whole hordes of you to shoot down your three hundred point spaceship. <laughs> So what else do we have here? There's the rose from Beauty and the Beast. What else do we got here? There's a flashlight. Dude, I'm assuming when I was young, I had you one of those. Hear some I always kept it under the pillow to defend myself from the bad juice. monsters. Guess what flavor <gasps> it is, too? Wait, 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 wait! That Great flashlight. Fruit. Child. God damn it, you uh, ogres! Can I have some of that too? <laughs> These freaking ogres. I feel so bad for number two. But the flashlight's for that guy in the closet, that ghost, that boogeyman guy. He's in the closet. And there's this guy from our basement. He's undoubtedly the life of the party. Exactly. He's cooking it's some- It's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Alright, is that it? I believe that is all. I don't think I can give anything to anybody here. So I guess we're going back to the map. So we got a flashlight. I'm pretty sure we can go back into the party place and now flash the guy in the closet and be able to get the the polaroid thing all right so flashlight this guy in the closet if only it was charged <gasps> does it need flat it needs uh batteries batteries for the flashlight yeah it took two of them jeez okay so now it should be good <laughs> what the hell <laughs> it's just a kid in a costume. Just a kid in a costume. He, he just got really wrecked. Got me, so credit to him. That's a pretty good mask. That is a really good mask. Okay, so now we should be able to take the Polaroid? The best way to arouse a hipster. <laughs> Can we take With it? With your permission, I'll take it, Boogie. Go ahead. You earned it. 
<laughs> All right. So do we put a battery in it? I don't understand how on earth I don't that think would work. It, they probably don't run on it, so that makes sense. Um, okay. What else we got? We got the star from Mario up there. Right, there's something here too. Roll out. The crew of the dead, Old Town Graveyard, October 31st. Huh. Where did those come from? They're the posters for a horror billy concert that will be held tonight at the old cemetery. My ah. brother didn't want any interference for his party, so he tore down as many as he could. Ah. The whole neighborhood was practically wallpapered with them. Hmm. Why would you get rid of it? So we got something on our map so we can get to a new area. Little impertinent kid. He has a bright future ahead of him. <laughs> can we talk to him? You're having fun, eh? Tyler didn't want me in the way, so he closed me in here. I had to do something to fill all this time. Tyler? My older brother. He's the guy who arranged the party. I was ah. bored. So I thought it would be fun to scare anyone who walked into the storage room by mistake. If I was in your shoes, I would have done much worse. <laughs> what else do we have to do? We have this over here that we haven't been to. So this is a new area. Can I click this? I thought you could. Oh, there we go. Did it work? Whoa, we're on the beach. Okay. What can we do here? A cauldron. Sometimes these professional apple eaters get too caught up in the competition. <laughs> It's a case of a completely useless object. Okay, so you can't do anything Someone with it. Someone must have misinterpreted the rules. Nyan Cat! Back there, I just realized. An executor! Is this supposed to be like executor, but with like, uh... That's pretty funny. That's awesome. I, I know a lot of people get angry that I don't get every single reference, but there's no way I can get all these references, guys. There's too many. And there's stuff that I do know I just don't see. There's a time machine over here. The scientist must have seen too many Doctor Who episodes. <laughs> Can we do something? I'd like to be on the other side of the screen to make you do foolish things. <gasps> you don't want to go back in time, Those seals dude. Are quite self-explanatory. Okay, so I guess we got to talk to Mr. Scientist, dude. Here. That blood does not bode well at all. Oh, he's bloody. What happened to you? Is this, is this your, time? your time machine? Yeah. Yes, but it is still an experimental prototype. The usual okay. excuse is to say it doesn't work. <laughs> It'll work. Just watch and see. And okay. finally, everybody will stop saying that I'm just a c crazy, stutterer, anemic guy. Okay. But you're not anemic. Yeah. That's what I c keep saying myself. Okay. What are those bloodstains you have on you? What are those bloodstains you have on you? Oh, not a big deal. A little accident while I was working on a d d different project. Does that made what? Is that what How made you, you stutter? Kill now? D don't be silly. I conduct experiments on d dead bodies. Dead bodies that were alive before, by any chance? <laughs> if there's really shortage of raw material, those two. Okay, what are you waiting you for? You seem to be pretty eager. What are you waiting for? I ordered a new c carburetor online. The old one was d damaged during my previous attempt. And okay. it still hasn't arrived yet. They'll get an earful from me at the c customer service of thatcrazyscience.com. <laughs> you can really find everything on the internet these days. Exactly. You c can't even imagine. P people are really out of their minds. <laughs> All right, I'll come back I'll come later. Back later. See you then. All right, so apparently we might be able to go back in time. Perfect tan. A black man who gets a tan from moonlight? You're kidding, right? <laughs> Can I Just talk to him? Just because we're in an adventure game, that doesn't mean you get to bother whoever's around. <laughs> this is rant. This got to be a reference to something. All right, so, ooh. Where did we come from? Is that a new way, or is this... We came from here, so is this going backwards? Right, we had to... Oh, I just... Whoa... Is this... Go back! <laughs> and do back! There's a kite. What the fuck is going on here? There's like a little devil dude. And a painter. He's got like... Gashes on his back. And he's painting caveman... Stuff. I don't know. Your usual Charlie Brown. Can't you see it's stuck in the thorns? I th maybe I thought I could grab it. Knowing Benjamin Franklin is watching me from up there with utter contempt is too intimidating. Okay. So we can leave. There's a paint can here. Can't you read? It's a white paint can. <gasps> I obviously can't take that away from him. 
Yes, you can. So, uh, oh, maybe even if I'm now dead, I still don't feel it would be wise to stain my criminal record. <laughs> to steal a paint can. All right, so let's talk to the painter. I can't even imagine how his back came to be in that state. I know, like, what the hell? Can I bother you for a second? I'd like to talk to you of our Lord Cthulhu. <laughs> he can't hear you. Oh, okay. So you can hear me. I'm noticing a suspicious resemblance. Oh yeah, he is kinda, he's got a gut, he's got glasses. Okay. He's... <laughs> Look at that face. Who exactly, Who exactly are, you? are you? I'm Pat, the wicked conscience of this little miserable man. <laughs> he kept me Whoa. dormant inside him for years without okay. listening to me. But you know, when you insist on suppressing every frustration, you're inevitably destined to blow up sooner or later. Hmm. And so now, ba -ba -ba -da, I am in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the game Office Freakout. Just how he looks with the glasses and stuff. Why does he have Why those wounds he have on those the back? On his back? Soul possession brings some, well, some severely violent consequences with it. Let's just say that whoever suffers from it momentarily loses his senses and in the end turns to self-harm. And in case he survives, his mind comes under my control, as you must have noticed by now. Okay. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? We happen to have a scam underway. A oh. big scam. A big scam. I couldn't... Mm. We couldn't stand our demeaning and not at all gratifying job as office workers anymore. Uh. So we spent, um, I mean, <laughs> we spent all our savings to buy this cave that oh. we accidentally dated back to the Neolithic, uh, complete with cave paintings. I see. You're really an evil mastermind, no doubt about it. You mean we are really evil. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll leave you to your, your work. work. As you know, Crime never sleeps. So they're painting the cave so they can make a shit ton of money off of it by saying it's from caveman days. Make a discovery, I guess. All right, so there's a a staff. If that is meant to be the Red Sea, someone must have hugely <laughs> exaggerated the story. It's parting the sea, so yeah, I see that. I prefer not to risk finding a snake under my sweater. But you could do it's shit with that. It's surely more fun to do it with tomato soup. <laughs> Disc. It would seem to be a metallic disc stuck in the rock. Can we grab it? Whoa! I, I really don't know what to say. It's an alien ship. It's a child's dream coming true. Holy shit, an alien spaceship. This reminds me of the famous 1947 accident, but I'm not a US government agent. A Roswell incident, I think I it's called. I really know where to start. Better avoid problems. Okay. Is there anything else? So we got something out of this. We got a disc. Maybe they'll give me something because it's in their cave. Isn't that like more important? Yo, the cave painting idea might be set aside. The cave painting idea might be set aside. What do you mean? Look for yourself to my right. <laughs> I'll be darned. Yeah. This will be worth a lot of money. Neolithic my foot. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We've got work to do. Okay. Oh, he looked like he was enjoying painting those cave paintings. All right, he took his paint, and he's out of here. We didn't get the paint? What was the point of that? Maybe we made them go somewhere else? I guess, I don't know. There's nothing else here. Okay, well, what did we get out of that? Oh, we got the disc. We got an alien disc. I don't know what that would be for. Oh, we haven't been to here yet. This is like, uh, ooh. This is where the band's playing. Sir Daniel Fortesque. I thought it was uh, for a second an Undertale reference. Um, okay. There's something here. Shovel. There is work to complete here for sure. <laughs> Can we grab it? Okay, we got a shovel. Oliver's grave. Ronald and I love to watch their black and white movies. Oh, okay. It's a single epitaph subdivided onto the two gravestones. It's chilly down here. <laughs> I can't remember Not that. Not even death made them lose their sense of humor. 
Ronald and I love to watch Diglett. their black and white movies. Sorry, I just saw Diglett pop up back there. I saw Diglett. It's a single epitaph subdivided onto the okay. two gravestones. It's uh, chilly down here. I'm trying to figure this out. Not even death made them lose their sense of humor. We have two ties. And I swear I've seen this before, and one of them had a water sprayer bow tie. I see that even growing up, you... Maybe it's here? Oh, <gasps> yes! So then the other tie goes on here? Yes! Did we do something? Yes, we did! Oh, yeah! Yes! What did we do? <laughs> well, we haven't even explored all this stuff yet. Better than my wife? What the fuck? Look, Mom, I'm a video game. Uh, let's go down here. We'll, we'll, we'll explore the rest of it. Oh. Explore. It's too dark to move forward in there. Do we have anything for that light? Absinthe. I don't think that will light up the thing, will it? Sometimes I'm amazed at how you can still be alive. Okay, so we need some way to light this up. So we're gonna need like a lighter or something. Okay. Well, we'll have to look for that. There's a halo here. Okay, one of the fallen angels. But this one seems to have made a loud thump. <laughs> yeah, it fell pretty hard. I can gladly do without the holiness. It's not for me. You don't have to say anymore. The kindness level of your character is too low. Help some lady cross the road safely and try again. So I can't pick that up. Okay. I don't know what that's referencing. But that's pretty cool. Okay, so Sir Daniel Fortescue. The statue Fortesque. in the city graveyard is the right tribute to one of the heroes of my video gaming childhood. I don't know what that's from. I would have never imagined we'd have so much in common one day. Although I was lucky enough not to lose my jaw. And one of your eyes as well. Okay, what else do we have here? We have this over here, a flux capacitor. Can we have that? Is that for the time really machine? I'm curious how many genius hunches are just the result of more or less serious head injuries. Mm hmm. What do I need with a flux capacitor that doesn't flux? I don't know. I, I guess I we would need a car for that. I think it would be very easy to get this grave to a speed of 88 miles per hour. <laughs> it would be pretty hard. Okay. I get it. All right. So we have the band over here playing. There's a lot. There's like the block from Mario. It's supposed to be kind of like, it kind of looks like Meatwad. Oh, it's the guy, a little thug is a uh, Ghostbusters guy. Uh, fluff, the big marshmallow dude. All right, can we talk to him? They come up with all kinds of excuses to mask their hoarseness. The hoarseness. How? If he couldn't even sing his own song. Oh, he can't. Oh, he's got duct tape on his face, I just realized. That's interesting. He just sits there. All right, little thug dude. Let's talk to him. At the very least, it can't be said he lacks self-deprecation. Hmm. Hey, guys. Can I have some of your firecrackers? Ask your mother to buy you some. Oh. And get out of our way. Can't you see we're busy? Okay. My costume's better than yours. <gasps> he has a lighter. I need a lighter from him. That's how I get the lighter. He has a lighter for the fireworks. Okay. So we can also go in here? Swag! <laughs> oh! But that's Grandma! Wait, what? Uh, Ronald's Grandma, I mean. <gasps> Ronald's Grandma's here? Was Didn't we find her urn that had, like, candy in it? That's funny. All right. That's the candlestick guy from Be Beauty and the Beast. I like the look in the new area. Don't starve! These are from Don't Starve. I don't remember the monkey. I know he's in it, but I never played as him. I played as her. I think that's Wendy? Right? Or is that somebody else? Wilson. And that's the, the chainsaw dude. There's a little mushroom, 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 mushroom from Mario. Here Read. lies Wilson Percival Higgisbury, exceptional scientist who fatally wounded himself with a razor oh, blade. because he shaves his beard. Here rests Woody the Lumberjack, asphyxiated after inhaling some silver powder. Damn. Here Wilbur the Monkey King is buried, dead on the spot having slipped on a banana <laughs> Dang. Here, Willow the Arsonist Willow, found it's her Willow. Piece, okay, so dead for the joy of a great. I think Wendy show. has the sister that's crate that's dead. That's Willow, Here, and she's the Willow, fire the person. Arsonist found her eternal peace, dead for the joy of a great fireworks show. <laughs> All right, so we need this towel for something, right? The most useful object a galactic hitchhiker could have. Oh. Only in case of emergency. I could use it like the sail of a mini raft. Is that from um? 
the hitchhiker movie thing? Or am I missing it completely? Ball spider web. The thread of a spider web is made of such resistant material, it would make even Frodo's mithril chain mail seem flimsy. Hmm, can we grab it? Too sticky. I won't be able to get it off my hands. Ah, uh, so we might need that. The result that. would be more similar to body armor than a sweater. Hmm, okay. So now we gotta talk. It's a guy trying to get out of the coffin back there, hit his head. Illuminati. I had no idea they had followers in the arachnid world as well. <laughs> in the otherworldly realm, you'd have a hard time taking root with your business model. I thought maybe we could talk to the Illuminati. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk to Grandma. I hope that even after her passing, her mole vision hasn't improved much, so I can still pass myself off as Ronald. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. I'm... I'm Ronald. <laughs> uh, Grandma, I can't really understand what you're saying. Oh, she got angry. I'm sorry, Grandma, I can't understand you. Wait, we have dentures. Does she need dentures? We've had these for so long. Have your dentures. Damn my age. <laughs> Ronald, Grandma, sweetheart, you came to see me? Yeah. You're so emaciated. Are you eating enough? No, I'm not. I have a serious allergy to plums. I have a serious allergy to plums that totally ruined my will to live. Well, sometimes we all get a bit constipated. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Try some baked apples or kiwis. Okay. I don't really like apples. I have a confession to make. I'm a vegan. It'd really be too much for her. <laughs> What is Grandpa doing over there? What is Grandpa there? doing over there? He's been trying to get out of his coffin for days now. Except every time he forgets to watch his head. <laughs> well, at least he leaves you alone. It's about time. It wasn't enough for him to torture me when I was alive. I didn't even have time to die before he felt compelled to do the same. <laughs> I'll come back and visit you very soon. I'll come soon. back and visit you very soon, Grandma. What did we get out of that? We lost the dentures to get what? There was nothing in here we grabbed. All right. Oh. Wait a minute, Ronald. Oh. It's dangerous out there. It's full of atheists. That's <laughs> so dangerous, Grandma. Crazy. Okay. So we're going to need the Bible for something. I don't really know what we would need it for. We still have the beer. Um, we have absinthe. All right, well... I don't know what else to do. Yo, Hermit, can you... Let's see. Can we... Can you stitch this for me? Wake up, old man! Jesus. You needn't shout like that. <laughs> You're right. Excuse me. I forgive you. Uh, I forgive you. Listen, could you maybe sew some of this hair on the head of this doll? Yes! An unusual request. But I perceive no reason not to indulge you. Give it to me. There you go. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Too kind. All right, so what do we do with that now? All those long hours spent playing with Monkey Island couldn't have a different outcome. Okay, so we have a voodoo doll. What does that do for us? Who needed voodoo dolling? What's this way again? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know I could go in here. Wash me, it says on the side. V for, the v for Vendetta little face here, little mask. Hold hole for coin. Oh, so we need a coin or something. What else is here? I can press buttons. All right. It's the hole where you put the coins in. Obviously. I certainly don't want to tamper with the telephone booth. Do I look like a small time crook maybe? Yes, I need coins. I'll quickly brief you on how it works. You put coins in it so you can call someone. Exactly. All clear? Yes. God. I don't have a coin though unless this alien disc goes in it. Nothing. I hoped I could access the inner universal calls. Exactly. Um <laughs> I'm just gonna press all the buttons. Do you think telephone booths work for charity? <gasps> Wait, the alien the disc goes to the alien DJ guy, right? Right, 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 right. There's the tie, that's what I saw before. The storm is coming. Okay, the storm is calling, cool. Have an alien disc, dude. Stop for a second. I want you to reflect on what you just asked me to do. Come closer. 
he's an alien. We have an alien disc. Wouldn't that make fucking sense? What about the junkyard? We haven't been back to the junkyard in the longest time. <gasps> oh, it's the clown. I just noticed that. Was he there before? <gasps> he has a drink. Wait, we could give him alcohol. Come up to him. Give him some alcohol and then we can take his keys when he's not looking, right? There. Right? Enjoy your drink. I'm gonna steal On your keys. House. You can never say no to a drink. Yes. Hey, you, what do you think you're doing? I can't grab them. Hey, you, what do you think you're doing? I was ready, I was doing it. What the hell, man? So the beer is important, now my beer's gone though. Damn it, I don't know. I feel like I've looked everywhere and it must be just missing one thing to get me going. There's a few things. The alien disc thing. Hmm, it's the same size as the fishing pole disc. So do it. <laughs> Did you put it on? Now I remember why I hated going to the fair. The fishing rod is clearly rigged. Yeah, but I'm trying to rig it myself. All right, I'm gonna cheat, okay? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to cheat to get things rolling because I'm stuck again. I'm always stuck. Jesus. All right, okay, okay, okay. I kind of know what I'm supposed to do. You won't believe this, but I didn't see this here. It's been staring me in the face this entire time. I moved this, and there's the goddamn matches that I needed. God damn it. So now, I also know what to do with the guy with the keys, and it's something I would have never thought of. The matches, I hate myself for not even seeing that, because that's so bullshit. Um, but what, we, what we needed for the matches was that uh, graveyard area. But catch this, catch th Actually, let's do the graveyard area thing first. Uh, we go down here, and then we take the matches, and it lights up this torch. So we gotta get something for this. What's in here? Automatic lighting system activated. Okay. What the hell? Is that Slenderman down there? Supposed to be Slenderman? How do you, portal! Cheeseburgers! I don't know what these guys, heads and brine? What are these guys supposed to be? I don't know what, what this is from. Hugs. Speak for yourself. <laughs> did I just imagine it or did that head say something? Nothing at all. Very <laughs> good. For a moment I thought I'd gone mad. Can I talk to them? How can you expect me to talk to some heads and brine? They must have uttered their last words a long time ago now. Too bad that doesn't apply to you too. <laughs> All this pointing and clicking stresses me out. I should absolutely take a vacation sooner or later. Yes. You should totally take a vacation. All right. I didn't know my I didn't know how to name him. What? I have the vague impression that someone here lost their inspiration. <laughs> I didn't know how to name him. Am I right? You didn't know how to name what? You. It's your name. <laughs> no. I have no name. Maybe it's precisely because your parents didn't know how to name you. Hmm, perhaps. So I'm right. That's your name. I already told you it's not my name. <laughs> what is he doing in there? I don't know who he is, but he he, he is definitely in not good shape. You should, should get, get yourself in shape again. Why do you say that? Maybe because you can't even get out of your burial plot? <laughs> I just put myself on a diet. I haven't touched a pizza. Oh, weeks. that sucks, Only man. Because he devoured the Aaron boy too last time. Who's he talking to? Where did that voice come from? So he's a cannibal. What happened to your arm? I was too hungry, and I bit it. Oh, it must have really hurt. But it was good. <laughs> I'm assuming you're a cannibal. I'm assuming then. you're a cannibal then. I make no distinction when there's food involved. You don't mean to try to eat me too, right? If they were all like you, I'd have starved to death by now. <laughs> so he ate Actually, all these right. heads. He ate all these people and cut their heads off and put them in brine. All right. I'm, I'm so going out for a walk. Maybe you can join me later, okay? So we can get him out. We have the shovel. Can't the shovel get him out? 
It could even work if it weren't so idiotic. Oh, I was just thinking, why are there eyes in these skulls over here? Are these people he ate too? There's a black magic book. Black magic for daily consumption. Can I grab it? There must be a reason it's been here for so many years without anyone picking it. I don't know. We can open it. Chapter one, Chapter witchcraft. Chapter one, witchcraft. How to curse your mother-in-law and live happily. Capture a wild animal to associate with the victim. 80% of readers pick a toad or a snake. Wait for midnight <laughs> and the moonlight to baptize the animal with her name. Okay. Free your mother... I mean, the animal. In open country, your beloved acquired mummy will thus lose the power of speech. Remove the earplugs and enjoy the new silence. Damn. Achtung. Unfortunately, the above-mentioned witchcraft is not effective on wives and husbands. <laughs> Seance. Chapter two. Ooh. Seances. How to satisfy your edible complex even if your mother left you. Sit around a table with other people who want to communicate with your dead mother. Okay. Therefore, avoid inviting your wife. Light up a <laughs> wax candle in the center of the table. Create a circle. Holding hands or touching with the pinkies. Touching at with the pinkies. At this point, close your eyes and evoke the dead towards you. Some dead people don't like to talk, so prepare an alternative medium like a pen or a typewriter. Okay. Octung. Always remember to avoid antagonizing the dead if you want to communicate with her once again, but mostly avoid antagonizing your wife. <laughs> uh, voodoo practices. Yeah, we have a voodoo, voodoo doll. practices. How to get revenge on the school bullies while keeping your distance. Ah. Recover some hair or nail samples from the concerned bully and attach it to a doll. Then place a voodoo doll in the center of a pentacle. Close your eyes and channel your hate on the bully. Imagining him with his head in the toilet increases the chance of success. If ah. the ritual is successful, the doll will assume the features of the designated victim. Grab a needle or some pins to stick into the voodoo doll. Oh. Enjoy your revenge. Octung. Don't damage the doll by removing its limbs or head. Keep Interesting. Out of reach of <laughs> Love potions. Chapter four. Love potions. How to get out of the friend zone and overcome <laughs> restraining orders. Oh, oh, oh Acquire man. Acquire a photo of your future love. You shouldn't have problems after so many years of stocking. Oh. Dip some rose petals and cloves in a water and red wine solution. Bring the mixture to a boil. After cooling, drink the love potion you just completed. Wait comfortably at home for his or her arrival. Aktung. Always remember to take proper precautions. You get the wrong hair. That would be bad. All right. Stop reading. All right, so we can't take it with us, but the voodoo doll is something to do with that pentacle sea monster. It certainly cannot be said that they lived quiet times in the deep ocean. This... I can suggest a good beautician, if I may. So it's not Slender Man. I thought it was it's a zombie. So elegant. Good evening. Hi, pretty bones. Ooh, what happened to your head? What happened to your head? My dear, I'm a zombie. I'm decomposing. <laughs> yes, I read the hotspot label, but it was hard to believe. Oh, sweetie pie, you're making me blush. But then again, it's normal to cause confusion when you're lucky enough to putrefy in such a sublime way. I could even be envious. <laughs> so you're like brain. So you like brains, right? So you like brains, right? Of course, pretty bones. I love brains. But only the male ones. If you know what I mean. Only too well. Nice dress. I wore it on the day of my wedding. I guess it's a memory you really care about. Obviously. Considering it's the same day I committed suicide. <sighs> Forgive me, I didn't know. Cyanide, for the record. She was incredibly beautiful. But she wasn't exactly my type. I suppose it wasn't about the color of her hair. And I couldn't stand that she had smoother skin than mine. I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. What the fuck is this? What are you doing locked in what here? What are you doing locked in here? This was the crypt of my family once. So I was buried here. A long time ago, it seems. Exactly how old are you? Don't be rude, darling. It's not polite to ask zombie his age. I humbly apologize. <sighs> you smell really You smell really good. Oh, honey. Slow down with the advance. Don't be so shameless. I use a mix of bubble bath and body butter. They're really great. <laughs> it's this conversation. Anyway, <laughs> I must say that for a little bone like you, you smell good too. Okay, I really have to, I really go, have now. to go now. Come back and visit me sometime, little star. <laughs> okay. We can go now to the crane. You won't believe this. 
You give this guy the beer and then you hit him with a shovel. Exactly, I wasn't thinking. I thought maybe you just give him beer, distract him, get the keys. No. You give him beer and you distract him, you hit him with a shovel. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a beer and then we're gonna hit him with a shovel. On the house. You can never say no to a drink. Okay. Now we get a shovel and we hit him. Yes, good boy. Drink. What the f- <laughs> Hey, yo. Holy shit, dude. Don't look at me that way. I had no other choice. I mean, look at him. He's sleeping like an angel. A few hours of sleep won't be bad for him. Damn. He was too stressed. Holy shit. Okay, so we're gonna grab the keys, I guess. We now have the keys. I tried using good manners, but you wouldn't listen to me. In a couple of hours, you'll be just fine. Don't worry. I'm not sure. You hit him pretty I hard. I want to reassure all friends and relatives who are following us from home. He's just unconscious. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all right, so now, now we can get the key and go into the crane. Finally. Yes. Go inside. What's in here? <gasps> fallout thingy. The fallout little, uh, what's it called? The bobblehead. <laughs> That's cool. All right. What else is there? Oh, snap. That blew up. Not a good thing. What can we do with that? Grab well, it. One of the few advantages of my skeletal form is that I'm unaffected by electric shocks. Oh. <gasps> oh, we got a wire. Okay, so that wire, I think the wire somehow makes a magnet with the alien disc. And that's how we can pick up something with the fishing rod. Figuring things out. What else is here? Okay, the janitor is not the nicest person in the world, but destroying his shack seems too much even for me. <gasps> oh, I'd be hitting his shack if I did that. Leroy. Cassette player? We don't have a cassette. Um... Lower arm? First, I need to place the arm over the wardrobe. <gasps> oh, we're getting the wardrobe. I didn't think we would get it this early. Okay, well, rotate to left, I guess. Ah, now we lower arm? Right? It's an eight. First, I need to place the arm over the wardrobe. All right, then maybe we have to go again. We get it? Yes! Nice. And now we should grab it. Yes, baby! Woo! That is awesome. Our wardrobe's down. Freaking sweet. We got our wardrobe down. That is so snazzy. Yes! Oh, I didn't know I'd need to go through all this to get it down. I know. Do I look capable? Oh, we can close it and open Already it. Already done. So we closed it. Do I really have to remove? Okay, Jesus. All right, so I think I'm going to stop there. We got a lot of shit done. We will take the magnet to um the fishing rod guy, and we should be able to get whatever... Pri I guess we get a prize from him, the carny guy, but... I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. We're doing good. We figured it out. I got stuck. I had to cheat, but I got a few things done where I would have been stuck here forever, guys. But thank you guys again for joining me for some more more wardrobe. I believe we're getting close to the end. Maybe a, maybe two, one or two more videos of it. But really enjoying this game. The puzzles are crazy. I have to cheat because there's no way I'm going to figure them all out. I'll be here forever. But thank you guys again for coming by and watching the video. If you made it this far, make sure you leave a like down below. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Bye!